Texas governor uh, blames El Paso shooting on not letting kids pray in our schools. For fuck's sakes, are you serious? Are you fucking serious? Are you serious? You're just trying to look ridiculous. Um, appearing on Fox and Friends, Texas um, Governor Dan Patrick got plenty of attention for blaming video games even though the shooter made it clear he was following through Donald Trump's anti-Hispanic uh, rhetoric. Okay, the summary is bullshit as well. Okay, so both the, gov the, gov the governor is being b stupid. Again, I don't like Trump. I hate Trump. But the shooter specifically said that okay that he was these are the things that he believed in even before trump okay so again trump is responsible for a lot of shit out there but can we please not blame every fucking thing on trump again i don't like trump trump as i mentioned earlier in the earlier story he's a war criminal he actively sold weapons to saudi arabia knowing that he's being used against children so i don't have any love for the man but we need to be this this guy was against immigrants was using the same rhetoric before trump was even president so for this summary to say that he was following through on trump's anti-hispanic rhetoric is very is unfair and it's just desperately trying to blame everything everything that happens to trump okay that's I, I don't think that's fair okay let me know what you think but again this uh, the governor is 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 an idiot i mean i don't know how many I and mean, we have so many responses to this i don't know if we should repeat that well it, then what about the church like the most go-to example that people go to like we have church shootings right the church shootings do they not pray in churches anymore if praying is supposed to protect schools how come churches get shootings as well but um let me see what the okay part. okay yeah. except that himant also mentions in the article a uh, great thing like even if uh, it's not a christian school they never ban students from praying i mean if the students want to they can pray in right. the school yeah actually that's so, a very good point nobody's stopping kids from praying you just can't have the school having prayers yeah, so, so what what the agenda is like, the forcing Christianity, just because the school is forcing Christianity on students, it's yeah. doomed. Right, yeah, actually you're right, I, I totally missed that part because it's saying not letting kids pray in schools. Who's stopping, nobody's stopping kids from letting, from praying in schools. You, like, do these, like, does this governor think like when, if a kid is walking in the school and starts praying, is the school just going to crack that out like, no! You cannot pray here. No, nobody's doing that. What the fuck? Like, it's just saying, like, the school is not going to force prayer on kids. These people... Oh, God damn it. That's so, uh, so stupid. It's so stupid. So stupid. So, actually, the... Uh, Michael is saying it's the same thing, actually, in the comment section. He's saying, it was never about letting kids pray in school. It was always about forcing kids to pray in public schools. Yeah. So, we stopped forcing kids to pray. We didn't stop kids from praying. People, kids can still pray. They're just not being forced to pray anymore. Um, Michael is con uh, continues continues and saying, "I graduated high school in the 90s. None of the public schools forced praying upon us. The only school prayer was involved was a private Catholic school I attended for a short time. There was no prayer in public schools back then." Why should we move backwards as a culture and force it upon students now? Exactly. But um, I do want to bring attention to regarding these shootings. I have a tweet here from Neil deGrasse Tyson, yeah. which got sh a shit ton of attention. Let me go widescreen for people to be able to see it in full. So the tweet says, this is a tweet by Neil deGrasse Tyson. How many days ago? It was on August 4th. So he said, in the past 48 hours, so so the number of people, by the way, that, that died in El Paso was 24, but if you add that with the Ohio one, it's 34. So in 48 hours, 34 people died from mass shooting. So Neil says, in the past 48 hours, the USA horrifically lost 34 people to mass shootings. On a But then he continues, on average, across any 48 hours, we also lose... 
500 to medical errors, 300 to the flu, 250 to suicide, 200 to car accidents, 40 to homicide via handgun. And then he says, often our emotions uh, respond more to spect uh, uh, spectacle than to data. Uh, did I read that? Yeah. So, Shabam, what do you... Do, uh, I have a response to this. What do you think about this? Okay, uh, I can see where he's coming from. Like, uh, there are so many deaths, uh, other kinds of deaths because of human errors and all. And we aren't talking about those because the what's being present to, to us is the shooting. And we are just talking about uh, what we see and not the exact data. So I can see where it's coming from. But I think, I mean, it's still necessary to point this out. I mean, no, but uh, that's not his point. His point is like, yeah. yeah, point it out. But why is it that we're reacting to the 34 people that died yeah. way so, more than so the well, 500? What? So what do you think about it? I have, a response to, I have a response to this, but let me just respond to the first top comment. The top comment is pointing out that the US, that the US has a lot more mass shooting than any other country, right? Like in 2019, uh, it has a lot more, but, but that doesn't negate what Neil is saying, because even if United States has a lot more mass shooting than other countries, what Neil is saying, yeah, but we still have a lot more deaths from other things than mass shooting, right? So... A lot of people think like I mean, what, a lot of people got really angry with Neil on this, right? He's like, you're saying, um, you're saying like, oh, you figure so these 34 people died are, um, do they not, so they're, they're, it's not important? But that's not what Neil is saying because if that's your response, then you kind of are saying that the 500 people that died from medical errors matter less. Or more? Well, obviously, 500 people dying matters more than 34 people dying. But my response to this would be, um, the fact is that, yeah, 500 people are dying from medical errors every 48 hours, but people are actively trying to stop that, right? Like, people, I understand that it's not interesting news-wise, but the medical society is like, you know, there's a lot of effort being done, taken into reducing that number, right? Um, I'm going to skip the flu because I'm going to get back to the flu. But then the suicide, 250 suicides every 48 hours. Holy shit, that's fucking a lot of suicides. But again, a lot of people are trying to uh, actively try to figure out how to end suicide, right? Car accidents, I mean, car companies, there's so many tests. Millions of dollars goes into figuring out how to make cars safer. Uh, homicide, uh, uh, handgun, okay, this, i get to the handgun as well, but the problem with the 30, f the people that are dying with shootings is, is that it seems like people are actively trying to, in, at least in U.S. politics, avoid fixing the problem. Like, the problem is that there's not any, I mean, regulations on, on guns. I mean, it seems like you seem, you need a license, you you go through more tests to be able to drive a car than in the United States than to be able to carry a gun, which is fucking insane, right? And every time you try to fix this problem, people are actively trying to block it. Nobody is trying to ac actively block m efforts to fix medical errors, right? Nobody is trying to actively block, like people are trying to fix, reduce number of suicides. Nobody is active, no pol politicians are not actively trying to block you from fixing suicide attempts, right? The only example here that might be, um, that is, you know, comparable to the, to the gun situation is the flu one, right? Because... People are bring, uh, are saying vaccines are bad and stuff. So there are people that are actively bringing uh, bringing back flu and measles and shit like that. So the flu one is comparable because we do have some people that are actively trying to block um, efforts to remove this disease. The one that about the last one, the one that it says the 40 homicide by uh, handgun. The thing is that even more people die from you know gun related. Uh, incident, you know, stuff outside of mass shootings than it than during mass shootings, right? 
but it's interesting that the mass shooting gets the more uh, more attention, right? So m more people are dying from gun uh, from guns in the United States, you know, m well from from ins from s w when it's not even a mass shooting. Like numbers is astronomically higher, but the mass shooting gra grabs the most attention. But the thing is that, which is not doesn't make logical sense, but at least the attention that that gets could maybe introduce li laws that will also help with gun uh, crimes that is not happening during a mass shooting, right? So at least it will cover that. But anyways, I don't think it's fair. I mean, Neil is making a point. Is very is I think the the amount of anger that he I mean. I, I'm criticizing it because I don't think they're the same, but I do think it's a thing. It's a good thing to think about and think. Well, well yeah. Why are, do we react to these things more? I think uh, he d he did get a lot of angry reactions that are not fair. Um, you know, a lot of people are like saying, "Here's the m one of one that got five thousand seven hundred likes." Um, undeniable proof that knowledge and wisdom do not always coexist. Well, no, actually, your comment shows that because you don't, you don't, you didn't even respond to what he's saying. Like, at least give a logical response to this person why you disagree with them. Even if he's wrong, it's a good, it's a good mind exercise to think about why, why do we care about these thirty-four people? Why are we reacting to these thirty-four people more than these other deaths? Even if he's wrong, it's not, it's not a bad thing to think about, right? So. I think the way he's been criticized about this tweet is unfair. Um, yeah. Christie is pointing out that 90% 90 90 of the population wants universal background checks, but TikTok, TikTok, nada. Congress is bought and paid for and not by the actual citizens uh, that they are supposed to represent. Yeah. And actually, what Christie is saying it has been academically verified. What the what the what it what gets passed as a law in the United States is more. Um, it could be predicted more based on who you know lobbying influence and the money that is being spent on politics than actual demand for it, which is which is a uh, really questions how democratic United States really is, right? Which is very sad. Good point, Christy. Um. Did you want to add anything to that? Did you, what, uh, what yeah. Do you yeah. What do you think about my explanation on that? Uh, I think uh, your explanation is good. I mean, people are not really actively trying to uh, I mean, spread the flu and everything. Well, they know the, no, the, 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 the flu one is okay <laughs> because of anti I mean, no, I got confused because we don't have that many anti vaxxers here I mean, in India compared to the U. Really? Um, yeah. Okay, great. Yeah, I mean, I, I rarely see anti vaxxers. Actually, I haven't met any anti vaxxers yeah. ever. I just even met, a, I, just met I just met, I just met my first uh, anti vaxxers in, per in person just like three days ago, and I couldn't believe it. Wow. Yeah, it's, it just, yeah, anyways. Um, okay. No way. Here the situation is like, I mean, uh, it's good for your child, so do it. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. 
Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.